It's David Hoffman, filmmaker, about to show you a piece of film that many of you have asked me for. You know, of all of the 1700 plus films I've put up on the internet, the clip that is the most popular is one of B.B. King. I call it B.B. King said this was his best performance. 1973, Sing Sing Prison, New York's most famous prison. Old, I think it was built in the early 1800s, where the electric care was that electrocuted so many famous people. And Attica has occurred. That's this rebellion in New York, where I think 26 inmates got killed and officers got killed also. It was horrible. They actually shot people in the prison. And I was affected by that. I lived in Ossining, New York, my partner and I. And we came up with this idea to go into the prison and teach the inmates theater, storytelling, filmmaking, documentary filmmaking. I'd never been in a prison before, let me tell you, going into Sing Sing with all the gates and the security and the checking was really scary. We get in there and there's about 50 people in the class. A lot of them were Puerto Rican from the Young Lords, a gang in New York that implied it was doing good things, but these were pretty rough guys. And a lot of other guys too. One guy, I remember Charlie 37X, I don't know what the 37X was for, but some inmates told me it's because he killed 37 people. I don't think that was true. He once put a knife in my back and scared the hell out of me. And another guy yells, what are you doing? That's David. And Charlie 37X says, oh, I was just making a joke. And we decided to have a concert. Now there were concert films at that time. There was of course Altamont and Woodstock, two great concert films. So we said, let's do a concert in a prison. There had already been Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison, but that's very different from Sing Sing Prison. And what kind of musicians and artists the Sing Sing guys would enjoy. So we picked B.B. King, number one top blues guy. Call him up on the phone, speak to his manager, and B.B. says, yeah, I'll do it. I'll come for free with my 26-piece band. Just get me in the joint. Joan Baez. She had a husband who had been in prison. Sure, she says, I'll do it. The Voices of East Harlem, they were big in New York at the time. Great young men and women, wonderful performers at the time of hold your fist up, black power kind of thing. Very powerful musicians. Jimmy Walker, the great comedian at the time, they all said yes. So it's Thanksgiving Day, 1973, and we show up. The warden says yes. Oh, the warden, what a character put up big lights, huge sound system, which had never been in the joint, and a great audio recorder, 30 inches per second audio tape. Beautiful. We're ready to go. We don't know what's gonna happen. I have six crews, uh, I'm the director, and up comes what you're about to see. So I've put together all of the scenes of B.B. King. It's all that I have. Of course, I don't have any outtakes, but this is the performance by one of the greatest, if not the greatest, blues artist, a wonderful human being and a kind man. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it has meaning for you because it sure did for the inmates and it is a classic on YouTube. So please enjoy B.B. King, Thanksgiving Day, 1973, Sing Sing Prison. Yeah, behind me is the, uh, the Hudson River and uh, panorama of the Palisades. Maybe you think that I'm up in uh, Caskills somewhere, but uh, you're wrong. Though I'm here and the river is behind me, it's true, I'm up the river. I'm up in a place where I'm just a, a number and a face among 1,200 other faces and other names and numbers. It's a place where People such as uh, the famous Willie Sutton, the Rosenbergs, uh, Trigger Burke, Joe Balacci, they all passed through here. This is the uh, Austin Correctional Facility, known the world over as the famous, famous Sing Sing Prison. This is my cell here where I keep all my supplies, where I can get them handy. My fish tank is over here. At night, I face away my time, look at my fish. And I got my uh, refrigerator here out in the window. 
where I keep all my supplies, keep it fresh and cold. There's a little cabin here where I keep my underwear and other shit and stuff. Then here I keep my your, uh, my tuna fish and sardines and stuff, whatever I need when I cook down the hill. And this is my bed here at night. This is where I sleep. Good morning, B.B. Good morning. How's it going, man? Mm. Boy. All right now, I guess. Uh, a good day today. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be fine today. I'm liking all engine. I'm start turning now. Once I start turning, I'm all right. I'm ready. Hey, yeah. Hey, look at him, Dick. Yeah, I like that. Don't you like that? No. How about a brown? Yeah. Yeah. Get a brown, brown, brown shade. Yeah, I like that. And then we wear brown shoes with, uh, with you know. I think the fellas ought to dig that. Yeah. This is the, uh... Hey, Joe. It's decorations for backstage. We're doing, uh... We did, uh... John Byers, B.B. Kings, and the Voices, and they're gonna get equal billing. I've been involved for almost a year now. And, uh... Since I was given the assignment as stage manager, I feel that this is my part of my responsibility. Oh, we're gonna start working on a film today. And this is the first time we have a film take on Sin Sin. First time, and I hope it won't be the last one either. And uh, we thank you all you guys for everything you've done. Uh, we're gonna have B.B. King, the boys of this island, John Baez, and all the guys from the Sin Sin. Yeah. All right. Back to work. Well, we're going to Sing Sing. I've never been to it before. I've played many reformatories. Never been up here. Ah, uh, we had turkey, dressing, cranberry sauce, peas, uh, pie, coffee, milk, the regular procedures that you have in any institution. This is about the best Thanksgiving that I had since last Thanksgiving. <laughs> How much time do you got? Oh, I got me. I got five years. I should be going uh, home by next month anyway. What are you here for? Oh, I'm here for armed robbery. You armed robbery? Oh, yeah. Is that right? Sure. I'm not proud of it. Don't think, don't get misunderstand me. Right now, everybody's coming in. And they're trying to get this, themselves situated in a seat. I'm nervous because I'm anxious for, you know, for this thing to start so we can, once we get started, like, we start picking up one, two, three, and, like, I won't, I won't be nervous no more. Uh, there's the village of, how do you pronounce it, Austin? Austin. Austin. Yeah. yeah well, we're here. Uh, excuse me. This is Dave Hoffman. He's the executive producer and director of this picture in the institution today. Just like to say a few words. My partner and I have been working for this concert for about a year. You haven't seen most of us, and I guess I haven't seen most of you, but it took us a year to get this thing to come off, and I still don't know what it's going to be like. Joan Baez and B.B. King aren't even in here yet. There's some hang-up outside. I understand that People don't want to be photographed, so anyone who's behind that line will not be shot by the cameras. Okay? Hey, Tito, remember Thursday night is Latin night at the Cheetah. Stop it, fellas. That's all right. There it is, fellas. Yeah? I don't mind y'all going down. There it is. There's the wall. Good God, look at that. Yeah, man. Indio right here. Come on, let's go get a hand for Indio. <laughs>
<laughs> Indio. Yeah, Teremma's happening, man. That's B.B. King, uh, part of the group for the concert today. B.B. King. Yeah. So you going inside of it? Yes, sir. I think they're having a dinner inside there. Let me check. Let me check over here. All right. What about 22? Seems like they would have told them about it. Seems like nobody knowing about it here. We have quite a few people in the institution now. We must have your cooperation, especially the ladies on the on the bus here. We are not used to this sort of thing, but we're trying to put as much protection as we can on each and every one of you. So you have to pay attention, or you're going to get lost, and you're going to be confused. See, and if you get lost in here, that you means that we can't go home and eat Thanksgiving I dinner. I can't go home if you don't come out. Don't you That's understand? Right. That's right. This is the most opportune time for one of these guys to go. Now, the, three years ago today, there was a guy that walked, uh, two guys that hit out right down there, and we couldn't go home until about 11 o'clock Thanksgiving night. Uh, uh, y'all, y'all ready? Yeah. They're ready. All right then. Yeah, I'm used to warming people up. You see, that's my job. I just warm the crowd up, and as they at their peak of ecstasy, I bring the big one on. That's my job. See, I'm, I'm not the conventional type of comic. I'm what they call in the business a jazz comic. You see that last five minutes? That was a riff. <laughs> but anyway, I want to bring on the big one. And I guess y'all know who it is. Y'all all set up, they, they're getting that thing together. Because you're going to be setting up. I want y'all to make them feel at home. Because the man been traveling, he's kind of tired. But I want y'all to make them really feel at home. Let's have fun. Come on now. Mr. B.B. King, come on. Yeah. 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 He's balling right now. <laughs> While they're getting it together, I was told that some of you dudes don't know anything about blues. That's, that's what they told me, so I want to say this to you. I came to swap some with you. I imagine that quite a few of you dudes have the blues already. <laughs> but today, that's my signal to shut up. Today being Thanksgiving, this is Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving? All right. Well, let me say this to you. It seemed like a lot of things have been happening today, and when I came in, I had to sign in. And I noticed, I noticed one of the members of my group you seem to know very well. <laughs> How did it make me feel? Make me feel good because he works with me.
for you since today is Thanksgiving. And as John said a while ago, a lot of people do care. And this is our little contribution to you.
there better still be some groceries on the shelf. And I want you to tell that slick insurance man that he better write some insurance on his shelf. Someone really loves you. Guess who? Someone really cares. Guess who? someone who really cares is me
Oh, fellas, listen up. May I have it quiet a minute? Everybody sit down for a minute so we can get on with the show. All right, fellas, let's be quiet a minute. We have a problem of time. Please cooperate because we have a deadline. The more we can get in, the less we have to cut out. Now, is this understood? Who made that? An inmate made that. He laid on the floor and he traced himself. He painted his likeness on it for me. And then he copied the stripes out of a book. Do you have that personal a relationship with the inmates? Some Oh, yes, I have inmates I've known some cases all my life. I, uh, I know some inmates better than I know my own family. All right, Jimmy Walker here. Now we're going to have our finale, the dynamite part of our show. Y'all been waiting for it. And come on, let's really hear it from you. You know who it is. Let's welcome back the fabulous voices of East High. Come on.
Come in, fellas. I'll get that for you. Hey, fellas, you gotta cooperate now, like it's all over. Did you take it? Hey, something's gotta end, you know. So, right, later. See you at child and all that type of thing. You know, on the lock in, back in, you know. Tomorrow, same old thing. From Sun to Sun. Hey, listen. Hey, you cats, man, are tremendous, Jack. Hey, listen, Sonny, from the Voice of East Harlem, she's back there. And Sydney, huh? <laughs> and you want the autograph of Sydney. You're in love with Sydney. You're the one. We know, we know. Solid, we'll tell Sydney. My man got 28 days, he want me to let Sydney know what's happening. Hey, Sydney, you got 28 days left to, and it's all over. You know, society will say he's no longer guilty. He paid his debt to society. Power to the people, man. Right, yeah. People outside have a negative attitude. They say, well, they're animals and they, 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 they should be in a cage. We are in a cage, man. We are in a cage. I know what it is, man, to be in a place like this with nothing. Wife, kids, family. No one to contact, man. All we ask, man, is to be treated like human beings. Don't treat us like an animal because we are not animals. The fact that we're in a cage don't make us an animal. We have feelings. We have emotions. And we can relate to you if you relate to us. As a matter of fact, we want to relate to you. Do you want to relate to us? Give me a hand. Show me that because I have a record, you're not going to fire me. That because I have a record, you're not going to deny me the right to work in a bar or own an automobile or own a house or going to business, going to contracts. Help me. That's what I'm asking for. Give me a hand and lead me the right way so I don't have to come back again. Because as long as you keep your back to me, I'm going to keep on coming to prison. Not only me, but other inmates. Any more questions? Now what's it? Joy that bared 
as emotions flared and freedom's heirs turn to declare you can't keep men in cages. 